fourth episode of Wasteland Weaponistics. This episode is going to be about the 10mm SMG. 10mm SMG was first introduced into Fallout's lore all the way back with the original Fallout game. It has since reappeared in Fallout 2, Fallout Brotherhood of Steel, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, and Fallout 76, making it one of the most reoccurring weapons within the Fallout franchise. The 10mm SMG is a compact submachine gun chambered in the 10mm auto round that tends to be favored in the Fallout universe. It is a moderately customizable gun with different attachments being added through each iteration of the Fallout games. In Fallout 1 and 2 the gun is mostly plain with no real attachments. In Phobos, Fallout Brotherhood of Steel, we see a frontal grip being added to the design when in single use, and removed when dual wielding. But as Phobos is no longer canon, the frontal grip was removed as well, as we don't see it appear in any future Fallouts, as Fallout 3, New Vegas, and Fallout 76 do not feature a frontal grip. However, Fallout New Vegas did add an extended magazine, a compensator, and a unique suppressor to the gun. Fallout 76 expands on the 10mm the most out of all the games, with multiple types of receivers, barrel length, stocks, even a drum magazine being added to the design. In the lore, it's actually known as the HK MP9, as early Fallout games were able to get away with using real-life gun company names due to the small size of the studio. The MP9 name is not related to the actual MP9 machine pistol, which is made by Brugger and Thomit. The 10mm SMG's purpose was pretty much the same as any other SMG in the Fallout universe, to offer a compact, full-auto pistol caliber firearm to those who need such a compact weapon. For example, military personnel, law enforcement, private security companies, mercenaries, and anybody else who wants a SMG. We can find the 10mm SMG in a variety of places, from National Guard armories to police headquarters inside multiple vaults, all around the wasteland of the Fallout universe, meaning that this weapon was sold to everybody. It wasn't just for military use, it wasn't just for private companies, it was for everybody. Currently, at the time of making this video, there are three unique 10mm SMGs. Sydney's 10mm Ultra SMG in Fallout 3, acquired from the relic hunting mercenary, Sydney. Sydney's 10mm Ultra SMG features extra damage, holds an additional 20 rounds, and has better durability than a standard 10mm. The second unique 10mm SMG is Sleepy Time from Fallout New Vegas, which is acquired by just buying it from the Vendortron with the Gunrunner's Arsenal DLC. It features a large integrated suppressor, increased DPS, and it's painted black. An additional note is that it is the only full auto holdout weapon in Fallout New Vegas. Finally, there is Perfect Storm, which was introduced with Fallout 76, and is acquired by completing the quest Cold Case for Miss Annie. Perfect Storm fires incendiary rounds, making it the only weapon to do so in Fallout 76, and the only 10mm to do so in the entirety of the Fallout franchise. There is also a so-called slim version of the 10mm SMG in Fallout 3, however, this weapon can only be acquired by console commands, so I don't consider it an actual weapon. So the operating system of this gun. I'm going to say it's going to be a roller delay blowback, simply because where the gun came from, what design inspirations are real life, and the fact that it's an HK firearm. It's HK all the way up until the UMP, most of their guns were roller delayed blowbacks. One thing to note is that it features a curved magazine, where in real life, most 10mm caliber carbine style guns tend to just use a straight magazine at a high angle. So for the real life inspiration uh, for the 10mm SMG, it seems to be taken from multiple designs, as is common in the Fallout universe. Usually one design of a Fallout gun is taken by putting multiple other designs together. Most of the design seems to be taken from the prototype HK SMG2 combined with the Korehi Arms MP10, and then chambered in 10mm instead of 9mm. This was until Fallout 76, where Bethesda added many new features onto the gun, like a barrel from the HK-94 with a large barrel shroud, and an M4-style stock adapter. They also seem to have removed the front sight. 
for some reason. So if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like and subscribe to this channel as well as my primary channel, Trooper Fofo.